The ESV is a very popular translation. Why is that the case? I was noticing on Facebook a post by EvangelicalBible.com uh, where they talked about their best sellers from January through October 2021. And it was very interesting to me. I was looking at their website here. And these are the best sellers from January to October 2021. And you may notice something similar about a lot of these. Uh, there are various editions, but a lot of them are in the ESV translation, the English Standard Version. So out of the six that they have here, one, two, three, four out of six are in the ESV translation. Then the KJV Canterbury is number three. And the newly released RSV is number five. And I think because it's newly released, that's why it ended up so high there. And it's also not a translation that's been highly available either. But not surprisingly, the KJV is up there. But what I really want to talk about in this video is that the ESV is very popular. Now, obviously, EvangelicalBible.com doesn't give us the entire picture of the Bible translation market and the use of different Bible translations. But I do think it presents something that, from my experience on the ground, you do see, and that is that the English Standard Version is a very popular Bible translation, especially in more conservative evangelical Christian circles. You will see a lot of people using the English Standard Version. So even though a lot of us people who are into Bible translations and talk about Bible translations online talk about different translations, and we talk about the strengths of different translations and which ones we prefer. And I've often said on this channel that the e English Standard Version is a Bible translation that I highly respect, but it's not actually my number one choice. However, a lot of people do use it. And so I was thinking about this, and I thought it would be interesting to just kind of analyze and discuss what are the reasons that the English Standard Version is so popular. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. I'm going to give five reasons why I think that is. But as I talk about this, you might think of some other things that I don't address. So feel free to leave your thoughts about this subject in the comment section. So the first reason that I think the ESV is such a successful Bible translation is because of its origin, its beginning, how it started. It started, uh, I think, around 2001 is when it came out, published by Crossway. And Crossway did a great job right off the bat of promoting this Bible translation. I actually remember being at a Christian bookstore when the ESV first came out and saw the promotional things they were doing, and you could tell the ESV was really making a splash. It is an update of the Revised Standard Version, and it is actually the evangelical or more conservative update of the Revised Standard Version. The Revised Standard Version had actually been updated in 1989 as the New Revised Standard Version, and the New Revised Standard Version was really a mainline denomination translation. But the English Standard Version is a more conservative update, or an evangelical update, if you will, of the Revised Standard Version. So that's kind of its background, and right off the bat, I think that they really had some good connections, good endorsements for the English Standard Version. They promoted it very well, and I don't know when certain names got attached to the ESV, but I know I've seen on the back of some of their Bibles on the boxes, uh, they have endorsements from different Christian leaders. So I think right from the beginning, uh, there was just this association of the English Standard Version with some really good names, really good theology, and uh, that was a great starting point for the English Standard Translation, or the English Standard Version. The second reason I think it has done really well is because of its different editions that are available. The English Standard Version has, I think from the beginning, had a lot of uh, very nice editions that are available. Uh, I know, I'm pretty sure early on they had the Classic Reference Bible, which to this day is still something that people really love and uh, many people use it, but also their Thinline Bibles have been very popular. 
And what's great about their editions is they're all really well done, but uh, they've also made their Bibles very affordable, very accessible. And so I think because of that, people have been drawn into using the ESV because of the editions. And some of that has to do with the product itself. How does the Bible look? How easy is it to read? I mean, is the, is the actual printing of the Bible readable? And I know there are people who have, who have said that, you know, maybe they would have gone with either this translation or that translation, but the ESV pulled them in because of its additions, the different printings that they have available. And as I said, uh, a lot of those, I think, are very affordable, which draws people in because it's nice to be able to get a, a, a good quality Bible and not have to spend a ton of money. They also have a lot of very attractive looking Bibles, and they've been presenting those, they've been making those available for a couple decades now. So I think that's a, a very strong reason that the ESV has done well, is the additions that they've put out there. The third reason might be kind of surprising, but I'm going to say that the third reason that the ESV is doing very well is actually because of another translation, because of the NIV. The thing that I find interesting about the English Standard Version when I look at it is that in, in terms of its formatting and the way that it actually is um, presented on the page, and I'm not talking about the font, but I'm talking about things like does it capitalize pronouns for deity, and it doesn't do that, and how does it quote the Old Testament and the New Testament, that sort of thing. In terms of formatting, and the way that it's presented, I actually think that the English Standard Version reminds me a lot of the New International Version. They do have some similarities in their formatting. And the NIV was a, an extremely popular translation. It had a, a really great user base that had been built up since it came out in the late 70s, early 80s. And so the NIV already had this, this very vast user base, and when the ESV came on the scene, it really was something that was formatted similar to the NIV. So if you're comfortable using the NIV, it's very easy, I think, to pick up an ESV and say, wow, there's something similar here about the way they're presented. But on top of that, when the NIV actually moved toward more gender inclusive, or you could call it gender accurate language, uh, the NIV moved more in that gender inclusive direction. And so people that were more on the conservative end of the spectrum that were fond of the NIV, I think were already set up to very easily move to the ESV because the ESV is more conservative or traditional when it comes to gender language. And the ESV, as I said before, is known for being theologically conservative. So if you are used to using the NIV already and you are theologically conservative, and then you see the NIV moving in a more gender inclusive direction, you can see why a lot of those people would have found it very easy, very natural to move to the ESV. And that, I think, is actually one factor in explaining the, uh, the increasing use of the ESV, why it has gained steam uh, over the last couple decades. I think this is one of the reasons, is the NIV. Now, the fourth reason I, I think is also something that has definitely played into the success of this translation. And uh, it's, it's just the sound, the sound of the ESV. It, it is a more traditional sounding translation. Now for some people that's actually a negative. They don't like some of the ways uh, that the ESV words different things. It kind of sounds a little bit out of place to them. It doesn't sound like the typical English that we use, but for a lot of people, in more formal or traditional settings, when they read the ESV, it just sounds really good to them. It has a literary quality to it. And I think that has to do with the heritage of the ESV, that it is an update of the Revised Standard Version. And I would say just the way that the line of the ESV translation has come into being, uh, there was more an intentional desire to have a certain kind of a literary quality to it. That sounds what we, what we might call more traditional Bible English. Now, it is modernized English, but it still has that traditional Bible sound to it. Whereas other translations like the New American Standard Bible 
uh, I don't think as consciously tried to retain that kind of a sound or liter literary quality to them. So the ESV is popular, especially among those who want that more traditional sounding kind of a Bible. That leads us to the final, the fifth reason that the ESV is so popular, and that is the fact that it is so ubiquitous, which I find very interesting. I talked about this before in talking about the New International Version. I really think that when a translation gains steam and kind of reaches critical mass, its popularity just reaches this point where everybody says, wow, that is a translation that a lot of people are using, and therefore I want to use it because obviously it must be trustworthy. So many other people are using it. And it's just one of those things where if you go to a church and they're using the ESV, it's going to be easy to say, wow, if everybody here is using it, if the pastor is teaching from it, then I want to get an ESV and I want to use it. And so I think that's happened with the English Standard Version. It's been widely accepted. It's built up a name recognition. And with all of that, with that wide usage, I think people invest in it. They sense that there's a trustworthiness to the ESV. And I think that is kind of the bottom line when it comes to Bible translations. We kind of want to have this sense of trust when we pick up that Bible translation. This is something I can trust. And the English Standard Version has really built that trust with its user base. Now, I already said before that the English Standard Version is not my first choice. And I think it's really fascinating to think about why different translations uh, gain popularity and why they are used uh, by different people. And to me, when I think about the English Standard Version, I just find it to be one of those translations that maybe doesn't do everything the best in terms of what I'm personally looking for, but it does a really good job. And clearly, because of its background and because of these different factors that I've talked about, it has, it has reached very wide acceptance and usage. So those are my five reasons that the ESV is such a popular Bible translation. And maybe if you don't know a lot about the ESV, this video maybe has shed some light on the subject for you. But maybe you already use the ESV and already like it a lot. I would love to hear in the comments if there are any other reasons you think the ESV is so successful. Do you yourself use the ESV? And if so, why do you use the English Standard Version? Does it match up with some of the reasons I've given here? Do you have some other reasons? Also, if you don't use the English Standard Version, what are some Bible translations that you prefer. I'd like to hear that in the comments section below. Your Bible translation preference and maybe some reasons why you like that Bible translation. But that's all. I just wanted to talk about why I think the ESV is so successful. And as always, thank you so much for taking some time to listen to some of my thoughts on this subject. Brought to you from a fresh perspective.